Astra Space is trying to turn things around after the unfortunate cancellation of Rocket 3. Being a launch company, it's not ideal to have access to space and then lose it and have to develop a new rocket. This being said, this is Astra's current situation as they work to manufacture Rocket 4, a new and improved launch option according to the company. While Rocket 4 shares quite a few similarities with Rocket 3, it also features a lot of differences. These changes are meant to fix past problems and lead the new design to success, but will also take more time to develop and integrate. This brings up the question of when can we expect to see Astra launch this new rocket for the first time. As of right now, Astra is targeting late this year for some of the first test flights of Rocket 4. However, the company has a lot of work ahead of them and various milestones that could easily push back this main flight. Here I'll go more in depth into the first launch of Rocket 4, the main changes being made that will impact its schedule, what to expect in the future, and more. One of the most specific updates on future launches from the company itself came a few months ago during the main reveal of this new launch vehicle. Here they highlighted that test flights would be starting in 2023. In addition, in November, they said in a quote relating to the path toward launch that, We expect Launch System 2 to deliver best-in-class launch economics and launch frequency via a platform that is being optimized for reliability at every phase of the development process. It's an incredibly exciting time to be bringing this new launch system to market, which we have designed from the ground up to deliver the launch services that we understand our customers need. We will continue to provide updates on the key development, testing, and qualification milestones for Launch System 2 as we continue with its development. Since then, one of the only main updates regarding this new system has been an update on a new welding process that Astra has implemented. In terms of actual tests, there have been no new updates from the company. To get a better idea of the amount of work necessary in order to get this new rocket ready, we can focus on the changes being made from Rocket 3 to 4. The first has to do with its size. Rocket 4 will stand 62 feet tall from bottom to top, with a total diameter of 72 inches. This overall size increase is meant to allow the vehicle to carry greater volumes of propellant, and in turn deploy significantly more payload mass, with a target payload capacity of 600 kg to mid-inclination, 500 km lower thorbit over the course of the product life cycle. With this larger size comes an increased fairing volume as well. Rocket 4's increased diameter provides a dramatic increase in the volume available for customer spacecraft. The increased fairing was designed to fit an ESPA Grande spacecraft, two ESPA spacecraft or multiple CubeSats, with a maximum height of 133 inches and a maximum width of 67.5 inches. On the bright side, Rocket 4's first stage architecture uses much of the same architecture from Rocket 3.3, which will help speed up the time needed to launch. However, there are two major updates that Astra is confident will dramatically improve performance and manufacturability. First, the domes are now stamped directly from single sheets of aluminum, reducing weight and streamlining overall manufacturability, which in turn reduces launch costs for their customers. Second, the first stage engine architecture has been simplified from five battery pump-fed engines to two turbo pump-fed engines and will deliver a maximum combined liftoff thrust of approximately 80,000 pound force. Astra is developing and qualifying an upgraded derivative of a previously qualified engine for this application. Moving up the rocket, the upper stage has undergone the largest architectural change from Rocket 3.3. Rocket 4's upper stage has moved to a full diameter common dome design, which aligns production approaches between the two stages, increasing build reliability and decreasing total manufacturing costs. The upper stage is propelled by a turbo pump fed liquid oxygen slash kerosene engine delivering around 6,500 pound force of vacuum thrust. This engine is also a derivative of an existing qualified engine. All of these changes will need to be made, thoroughly tested, and then implemented before we see Rocket 4 lift off during test flights. While it's possible we see this happen toward the end of the year, there still is a lot of work left to do. Now that we know more about some of the changes being made to Rocket 4 and how this might impact its schedule, we can take a closer look at other important factors influencing this launch. Not only is Astra in the process of changing its launch vehicle, but it's also working to revamp its launch infrastructure and system. Astra's goal with Launch System 1 was to achieve orbital capability as quickly as possible and demonstrate that they could mass produce rockets. Following the flight anomaly on the last launch, Astra made the decision to accelerate the introduction of a higher performance rocket and add additional testing that they believe will increase the reliability of future launches. Launch System 2 is their answer to their existing launch customers and an increasing number of satellite operators around the world that need affordable and frequent dedicated orbital launch services to enable new space services. In a quote they said, We believe Launch System 2 will provide Astra's customers the launch services they need, whether that be constellation deployment, constellation management, or responsive missions. Dedicated small launches give satellite operators the ability to deploy their spacecraft directly to their operational orbits and allow them to start providing services and adding value sooner. Our customers and the broader market were clear about wanting three things from Astra's new launch system. 
reliability, increased payload capacity, and an increased launch cadence. Launch System 2 has been specifically designed to address these needs. While the new launch system builds on the heritage of Launch System 1, Launch System 2 is more than just upgraded hardware. It represents a cultural shift from their primary focus on schedule to a focus on reliability. The launch system is a result of a significant change in how Astra designs, builds, qualifies, and operates its launch system. The system is comprised of three key subsystems, the rocket, the ground systems, and mission control. We already went over the changes to the rocket, but the other two play just as important roles. Starting with ground systems, one of Astra's core values is simple scales, and that is reflected in the goal to develop an easy-to-deploy mobile launch system. They highlighted that the ground system has undergone several impactful updates that simplify the system and support scaled launch operations. For one, it's being optimized for improved site turnaround. Critical systems have been moved from the launcher into two easy-to-access containers on the launch site, shielding critical components and simplifying maintenance between launches. Next has to do with mobility. Despite the overall size increase of the rocket, the launcher and rocket are still designed to fit within standard size shipping containers, ensuring that Astro's launch system remains easy to deploy by land, sea, or air. Lastly, work has been done regarding automation. Launch System 2 uses sensors and valves that can detect issues and report back to launch operators in real time, flagging anomalies in the system and mitigating issues through early detection. All of these changes are being made in preparation for the first launch of Rocket 4. We then have Mission Control. Launch System 2 is trying to provide Astra an opportunity to further improve the interface between their launch operations team and the launch system hardware. Key updates being made to Mission Control include increased automation through software improvements to eliminate more opportunities for human error, creating a more scalable and reliable launch system. Also, simplifying pre-launch procedures to reduce the number of Mission Control operators. The end goal for Launch System 2 is to reduce the number of operators from 4 to 2. Simplified procedures and increased automation will effectively double Astra's Mission Control teams with no additional headcount, reducing launch costs for customers. Altogether, this summarizes some of the main changes Astra is making to the entire launch system. Astra points out that they are a completely different company than when they designed Launch System 1, and that shows in their level of investment they're making into the reliability of the system. The entire system has been scrutinized and re-engineered where necessary, to support their plans to reliably and repeatedly deliver their customers' payloads to orbit. Something we will see more of in the coming months as work continues toward Rocket 4's first launch. Astra has a lot on its plate as they try to regain access to orbit. Rocket 3 was inconsistent and Astra made the decision to cancel it and move to an upgraded rocket and surrounding infrastructure. While the company is targeting later this year for the first test flights, there's still a lot of work needed. Practically all of which has to do with the changes and upgrades being worked on as we speak. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.